Welcome back everyone. Thanks for checking out another video. Troy brought his super clean RSX Type S into the shop for a tune today. Uh, it made some great numbers. It's a really good example of a full bolt on RSX. So I thought I'd make a video for you guys. So like usual, I've already done all the dyno tuning. So I'm gonna go through the build, share some shots of the dyno poles, and then I'll share the final results at the end. All right guys, like I said, 2005 RSX Type S in the shop today. This is a super clean example of an RSX Type S for us here in Canada. It is not rusty, it's in super clean shape. It only has 120,000-ish kilometers on it, which is like 70-something thousand miles. So extremely low kilometers for uh, an RSX. So this car is a really good example of a full bolt-on RSX. Um, why don't I go through all the details of the build? It is the original K20 Z1 engine. It, it is the original RSX Type S six-speed transmission. Uh, start at the intake side of things. It does have the hybrid racing three-inch cold air intake to a K-Tune 70 millimeter throttle body. It has an RBC intake manifold that has been port matched to the K-Tuned 70 mil throttle body. It has RDX injectors. Uh, it is internally stock engine. It has the best header. It has the Skunk 2 Alpha header. And it also has the Skunk 2 RR 3-inch catback exhaust. Uh, I tuned it on K Honda to K-Pro today. It is running pump 91 octane gas. Um, I think that's about it for the parts. Why don't I cut to the shots of the dyno poles and then I'll share the final results. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed those dyno pulls, but I'm sure you're interested in what this thing put down today. Uh, it put down some great numbers. It is a super healthy engine. I have, what, the last four dyno pulls up here on the graph. These are all back to back just to show consistency. The peak, peak power it made was 237 wheel horsepower, 166 foot pounds torque. We, uh, VTEC was at 45, Redline's at 85, uh, 30 degrees VTC down low, basically 41, uh, tapering to 25, I believe it was at the top. Great numbers, super clean dynograph. I know the owner is gonna be super happy with these results. It is a super healthy engine, but uh, he's already asking me about what he can do to make more out of it. So hopefully we'll see this car back again in the future with some, with some more upgrades. If he does bring it back, I'll do another video for you guys, but uh, that's about it for this video. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.